Welcome back, my Planet Coaster friends, to another episode of Coaster Spotlight. And it's also going to have a special little feature in this one as well. We're going to be looking at a blueprint on the side sent in by the same creator of this coaster. So in today's episode, we're going to be looking at... What are we looking at? Twin Coaster by Born Valesh again. So stay tuned and let's check it out. So Born Valesh ended up sending this one in. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the prison ride, that was the last episode. And I highly go recommend checking that out because it's absolutely hilarious. So he sent in, he, he originally sent in this and he wanted me to check it out. And I said, I don't do blueprints unless it's Workshop Wednesday and there's a lot of them. And then he sent in the coaster as well. And then later on, he sent in the prison ride. And I thought, and this one really got my attention. So we're doing them all in wacky orders here. Anyways, it was submitted in in by Born Valesh and he says hey Johnny Five Alive hope you will enjoy these two coast these two creations from me okay never mind he sent them both in at the same time first is a station transport ride in the style of my hometown also I would like your opinion on my favorite coaster I built. I tried to bring some atmosphere into it, but I am not completely happy with it. For example, the lighting on the second tower. Maybe you have some ideas to improve it. Greetings, Born Valesh. All right. Um, so this is the coaster here, Twin Coasters, or yeah, Twin Twin Coaster. And then this is the blueprint he sent in. Let's take a quick look at the Steam Workshop for these before we get started. So the first thing he sent in was uh, S-Ban Berlin Friedrich Strabe. Sorry, I butchered that. Read it for yourself, guys. Correct me in the comments as you will. Um, yeah, anyways. <laughs> Um, this thing looks amazing. Come rate this, subscribe to it. It's got only 400 subscribers so far. Let's get it some more ratings. I think you need about 30 ratings to start getting stars on things. So we can get 30 people that watch this video to click the link down in the description and come give this a rating. That would be fantastic because I think he deserves it. This thing looks amazing. Same goes for the coaster, twin coasters. This looks pretty incredible too. So just click the link down in the description below. It'll take you to this page. You click rate. It'll take you half a second literally um so yeah this one only has 86 subscribers and it was created almost a month ago what day is it today yeah it was like 30 31 days ago exactly a month ago wow so let's get some more ratings on this thing because i think this one looks pretty darn cool as well so that's the uh workshop links will to born valesh's workshop will be in the description as well come check them out guys all right guys switching out of desktop mode because i always forget let's take a better look at the berlin what is it train station Skytrain station. This thing looks incredible. Guys, if you're looking for cool coaster stations, you could run a coaster out of this if you want, or have it as a transport station. This thing looks amazing. So we got some Tiki Cheeky over here. We have all these cool planters. I suppose this is a walkway for your exit or your entrance, maybe your queue and it runs down these stair pathways. So all these holes and stuff, they get covered up once you put the pathway through it. That's just there to guide you. He's done a good job at guiding the pathway. Always love it when people do that. Um, what? Okay, I see that sometimes when you place down a blueprint, it, it auto paths two things together like that. So I see you're supposed to select the grid here and fill out this pathing area and make a little plaza. And then you connect all your shops after. And then you run the queue into that. Very cool. And these cobblestones work perfect for this design. <laughs> I had the right path equipped for this. Wow, I love, love, love the lighting, guys. Really good job at using the orange and the blue, the complementary colors. Um, it just gives it that vibrance of warm and cool. This coaster station using the glass here is incredible. Really nice design. I think these are supposed to be gold by default, but you can't even tell. Yeah, they are. See, I was gonna use these on my ice castle, but I didn't like how gold they were. But it works with this design because he has elements of yellow in here. But at nighttime, they don't even look gold, they look icy. Really good use of the spotlights. Looks gorgeous in here. This is a top quality uh, train station, guys. Highly recommend this for your parks. So the a it's sort of like, uh, what do you call it? Symmetrical in some sort of way. Like this side 
is the same as this side, but it's like mirrored. So it's not symmetrical, but it kind of is. Uh, essentially, he built this piece and then duplicated or rotated it, put it over here. It's very uh, efficient. It's good use. Same with this little plaza area here. So good, good way of uh, reusing the pieces. Very cool. This thing is really pretty. It's classy, guys. I like it. Really good use of the glass as well. And the colors, I absolutely love these colors. So that's the blueprint. I didn't want to uh, spend too much time on it. We've already spent quite a bit of time. It does look great and I absolutely love it. But he won, he was really proud of it and um, it doesn't have too many subscribers or ratings. So guys, come put this in your park, subscribe to it, and give it a rating. Uh, I think you have every right reason to be proud of this because it's absolutely gorgeous. So uh, I just wanted to show you that because he also submitted this. And uh, I believe I already read out the email. So we're looking at the twin coasters now. And um, like I said, Born Valesh also submitted the prison ride. So I decided to plop this down right next to it. And we would do two episodes on Born Valesh. So he's getting spoiled this week. So uh, I'm trying to get to everybody this week. We're probably going to be doing way more videos than usual this week. Because uh, we have a lot of submissions. And I want to try to get to them all. And this is why... I am showing two from Born Valesh today because um, might as well do it while I'm at it. Get Born Valesh's stuff out of the way. So this thing is looking pretty cool. Um, it goes, it's very fitting to his station here. They match really well. Love the hedge plants going around. The building construction looks great. The garden and landscaping looks great. You got a bug here that you might want to fix. I love these big buildings. Oh cool, the coaster is going inside of it. So the coaster is like breaking through the roof of this one. Like it crashed through it, which is really cool. Don't know what's up with this door. Oh, now we know. That's interesting. Oh boy, we're spoiling things. Sirens, I better pause it. Um, I just wanted to look at everything. I don't know what's up with this. Maybe we're supposed to put this in the ground and fill it up with water. That probably sounds about right. Yeah, I'm assuming that's what's intended here because it is like a fountain. Okay. I didn't do that, but insanity. Wait a second. I know why it's called Twin Coasters now, guy. No, I don't. I was just going to say, I think this is two coasters. What is this? Twin Coaster. Maybe I'm just crazy? Why is there an entrance here for insanity? Does this make sense? For a second I thought, okay, there's a coaster in this building and a coaster in that building, but if I'm selecting the track, it's only one. And I hooked up the coaster here. Oh wait, did I... Run the queue to... Okay, so this is the queue, guys. Yeah, and it takes you out here. So what is the purpose of insanity? You just come in here for no reason. Very confused by that. Nonetheless, that's okay. What is this? I think you're missing a wall piece here. Maybe he intended to have two coasters here or something. Let's go look at his workshop. Maybe I'm supposed to put another coaster in here. Nope. Huh. Nonetheless, there's some shops on the back that I forgot to hook up and some ATMs. So these are commercial style buildings that you get to shop at. They look very nice. So let's give this coaster a ride, guys. Let's do it. Okay, we're in the station here. So we're inside one of these buildings. It's kind of sci-fi feeling in here. Very cool. So this is that coaster that goes straight up on the lift. Let's get into seat mode here. Very sci-fi feeling in here. I did not expect that. Looks like we have some blocking sections here. It's not letting us out yet. Here we go. Oh, this is cool. Very cool indeed. 
Door opens up. I don't feel like that door is necessary, but I get it. Oh boy. Oh, the triggered events. What was that? Water? Oh, so that is a fountain. And it shoots water up. I get it now. Oh wow, that is a crazy hill. It goes upside down and forward. Look at all the mist. Or that's smoke, I guess. Oh, explosions. Did I miss something? Look at the view from here. Oh, electricity! It's like lightning hit us. Wow! Ah, oh, this is great! All these cool smoke effects there. Yeah, I really like that one. That was a lot of fun. Going up these towers like that is a really cool idea, I think. And it's it's well hidden, too. You can't really tell. I wonder if there's a way to um, wall this off. Let's, let's give this a test real quick. If I take one of these walls, if you go and you reduce your grid size, you can actually get it just right. Um, but I don't know if that was the intended design or not. But yeah, you can wall that off. But I don't know how I feel about it because it's really cool seeing the coaster run down inside the building like that. But at the same time, I, or maybe you could take the windows and bring them back here. I like the uh, elusiveness of it being hidden from the viewer's eyes because it ends up coming out and doing all this crazy stuff anyways so I don't know what do you guys let let born Valesh know down in the comments what you think I don't know how I feel about it I like it either way to be honest I like both so I like my suggestion covering it up but I also like the idea of seeing into it like this the only reason Th this bothered me at first is because it's essentially breaking the illusion that this is actually a commercial building like nobody works in here because it's hollowed out and you can see that but when you cover it up it kind of tells a story rather than um, being a prop uh, triggered event here was really cool absolutely love that so I am supposed to fill this up with water so if you do put this in your park it is a placeable coaster by the way same with his last one that we featured the prison ride which was absolutely hilarious all these are really great great creations so links will be down in the description below for born Valesh's workshop go check it out follow him and guys just drop him a rating because uh, I know all creators really appreciate that because getting three to four stars is really darn hard on the workshop um, there's a lot of underrated work out there and I think this is one of them this is really spectacular I love it all right guys I think that's gonna do it for this episode of coaster spotlight um, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And if you have a ride, coaster, park, or workshop Wednesday spotlight suggestion or submission, sorry, something you created. Um, I prefer submissions rather than suggestions, but I, 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 I also take suggestions if you find something incredible and suggest it to me, like Firewatch. Um, we will get around to it. So if you do have one of those, send it into channel5gad at gmail.com and I'll put it on the list and hopefully get to it soon. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching another episode of Coaster Spotlight, and I will see you guys in the next episode. See ya!